Diazo Photoemulsion Method. The photoemulsion method is one of the most exciting techniques of screen printing because it offers a wide range of possibilities. With this method, you can print fine line drawings, various lettering techniques, and photographic halftone positives. All methods of photographic screen printing require three things. One, a screen prepared with a light-sensitive photoemulsion coating. Two, a film positive or printed transparency. Three, a light source that will enable you to transfer the opaque positive image to the light-sensitive coating on the prepared screen. Note, with the photoemulsion method, you must use Speedball's polyester screens and screen fabric. Step one is the mixing of the photoemulsion. There are three key things to remember at this step. One, use gloves. Two, it is absolutely necessary to add water to the sensitizer and completely dissolve the paste into water. You should see a color change in the sensitizer after mixing with water. Three, thoroughly mix this solution with the emulsion. The color will change and the light blue emulsion will now have a green tint. Refer to the diazo system process by following the mixing instructions given on both containers. Always store the sensitized emulsion in a cool, dark place. Shelf life for the sensitized emulsion is 4 weeks at 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 8 weeks at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and 4 months when refrigerated. You are now ready. Step 2 is the coating of the screen. This step does not have to be done in a dark room. Coat the screen by first adding the emulsion to the screen top side and spread it evenly and thinly across the screen with a squeegee. Use more solution where necessary, spreading evenly with the squeegee. Repeat this process on the back side of the screen, working to achieve an even continuous coating on both sides of the screen fabric. Return any of the excess solution to your mixing container. Do not allow excess solution to build up, as extra solution will affect proper exposure. Step 3 is the drawing of the coated screen. In an area away from direct light and heat, set the screen to dry in a horizontal bottom side down position. Elevating the four corners of the underside of the frame allows the screen to dry thoroughly. If more than 300 prints are to be run, it is best to apply a second coating of the sensitized photoemulsion to the bottom of the screen after the first coat is dry. Remember, for best results, aim for a smooth, thin coating of the solution. Once the coated screen is dry, it must remain in a darkened area until it is ready to be exposed. Use a fan to greatly speed up the drying of the emulsion on the screen. Note that with Speedball's Diazo system, the maximum allowable time between the application of the sensitized emulsion to the screen and exposure of the screen is four weeks at room temperature in a completely dark environment. Step four is preparing your positive art to burn onto the screen. A positive is an opaque image, usually black, on transparent or translucent film. There are many ways you may choose to prepare the film. An excellent transparent film for this purpose is acetate. Printed opaque art can be created on sheets of acetate with a photocopier or laser printer. Or you can create your own art with Speedball's Super Black India ink and an artist brush, or Speedball drawing pens, or enamel paint pens. The graphics must be very opaque to light. Any art that allows light through will not create a clean image reproduction. Step 5 is the setup of the light source for the burning of the screen. To set up your light station, place the screen on top of a piece of black paper and center it 12 inches below a 150-watt clear incandescent bulb or a BBA No. 1 photo flood bulb. The BBA No. 1 bulb is preferable, particularly for fine graphics, because the exposure time is less. You can also use a light table with 20-watt fluorescent tubes. All light setups should be fitted with a shop reflector. An exposure time chart can be found in the chapters section of this DVD. Step 6 is the exposure of the screen. Before you remove the sensitized screen from the dark drying area, make sure everything you need to print with is on hand. You should have your light station lamp ready. 
the positive film transparency should be placed in contact with a dry coated screen by the following methods. 1. Attach image to the screen with cellophane tape. 2. Lay a piece of clear glass, lucite, or plexiglass on top of the positives. This is the preferred method, and it is necessary to use this technique if thin lines or lettering less than one quarter inch in height is to be printed. When you are sure all positives are in place and flat against the fabric, you are ready to expose the screen. Expose your screen based on your light source and the exposure equipment used. Step 7 is the final step. Now that the screen has been exposed, apply a forceful spray of lukewarm water to both sides of the screen. Do not use hot water. A spray nozzle on the end of a short hose in the work sink is preferable. Concentrate the spray on the light images on the top side of the screen. After a few minutes, these areas will become open. Continue spraying until all unwanted emulsion is gone. Perform final spraying with cold water. Once you have completely washed the screen, let it dry thoroughly in a flat level position. Hold the dry frame up to a light and check for pinholes. These can be covered with speedball screen filler or pieces of masking tape stuck to the bottom of the screen. If screen filler is used, let the screen dry again. Now the screen is ready to print.